you would you feel okay with the Broncos having three kickers on the roster as they did last year? And how do you think things are going to hash out? How do you think the roster spots are going to hash out there? You mean in terms of the kicking? Yes. Uh, I think Barth. Connor Barth will be their going, field goal kicker. I think so. I think because he's uh, solid, he's steady, he's accurate. I, I think they would. I hate to say this. I think they would like for Carl Schmitz to beat out Britton Colquitt as yeah. putter because they're and, paying Colquitt a lot of money. And and as uh, and that way he can kick off as well. As someone who said who was uh, in power in South America, don't cry for Brian Colquitt because somebody else will pick him up. Yeah, it's just that. Kickers and punters, when they start getting three and a half, four or five million dollars, that's when they become yeah. disposable. I'm with you. I think they're hoping that Carl Schmitz uh, can punt the ball under pressure, uh, and then they use him as punter and the kickoff guy, and then Connor Barth is the field guy. Here's the problem with Schmitz, and you know this. He played for Jacksonville University in 2008. He handled kickoffs and punts. But he hasn't kicked in a game since 2008. He hasn't kicked in and seven he only, years. He only kicked in about three or four games in. Uh, Mike Kliss, who used to work for the Denver Post, told me he's got no shot. He said, it's a good thing you're talking about him now because he's got no shot. And, and Mike has a lot of inside sources. Uh, I would say I think he has a shot because he is tall, he is uh, strong-legged. He's 6'4", 215. Like, he's a big guy. They would like to figure out a way to have him yeah. doing the kickoffs because they can always kick out of the end zone here. They want to kick out of the end zone at sea level. So I That's think, so risky. You know what I would do, Woody? I might keep three kickers, and I might keep him on the roster and see how he does under pressure for a game or two before I totally get rid of Colquitt and say, Schmitz, you're the guy. Seven years since he kicked in a game. He is uh, probably not going to kick in a game, even uh, a preseason game. He's going to probably be punting. Don't expect to see him. Well, I mean, I mean throw... punting and kicking off yeah. just to see what he can Anyway, so he people have it. wondered about Carl Smith's. Yeah. I actually spent some time watching him, and I, th I thought it was surprising that they didn't just throw him out there for yeah. one kick during the live kind of scrimmage yeah. kind of stuff. The uh, guy who's in trouble is McManus. Yeah. He's strictly there for uh, kicking off, but he's a short guy, can do guy. that. Yeah. Uh, I would say this. The other thing, uh, just to, for people who weren't out there, and you'll see it during the course of the day, they worked in, uh, in, uh, in pads and no helmets. So mm -hmm. that seems to be what Kubiak's going to do. Yeah. It was just funny to watch Peyton Manning throwing without a helmet on. That segment sponsored by John Elway Cadillac and Park Meadows, Colorado's number one Cadillac dealer.